All right, hey everybody, welcome to another gameplay video. This time around, I got I got another unusual plug and play. I found at a thrift store. Um, I figure why not pick it up? It's the plug and play playlist. The plug and plays mini arcades. So why not give it a try? Continuing to document all these plug and plays that I run across, preserve the uh, footage, what have you. Uh, this is a Whack-A-Mole by Milton Bradley. Very interesting. Never heard of this before until I ran across it. Um, as you can see, it's, it's a Whack-A-Mole controller. It takes four AA batteries. Kind of like, that's about a standard for a plug-and-play just about. You got your on and off switch at the bottom. Got your menu button at the top there. Special button, so whenever you uh, get certain items from the Whack-A-Mole, you can actually use them. Uh, We'll get into that in a little bit, but uh, here's your uh, buttons, your blue button, your yellow button, green button, and the uh, red button. And not bad, they, they're pretty good. They're, they're very springy feeling to it, so they seems like it's a pretty good build quality of it. Not too bad. Um, again, there's the bottom of the battery compartment. Um, hooking this up through my classic TV, the big heavy TV, and splitting it off into my uh, capture device. So we're going to go ahead and jump right on into that. That's the options menu if you press the red button. Uh, of course, the, you can adjust the volumes and ha what have you of it. So let's go ahead and jump back out of that. Uh, training video, you can kind of... I'll briefly show you the training. I'm not going to go through this completely, but there you go. You can just kind of... Each button, of course, corresponds to a corner, you know. So pretty, pretty straightforward. It's whack-a-mole. There's you see some items right there, like a water bottle and a a uh, seashell, <laughs> tomato. So if I hit the special button, it's like I can attack them with uh, whatever item there. I guess that gives it a little bit more variety. That gives you an idea there. Go back to the. Uh, there we go. Now I like this definitely. I'm gonna go back out of this. This is definitely a lot better than some of these uh, compilation games that have whack-a-mole on it. Because just trying to play a game like that with an NES type of controller control pad. Mm, no, this this is the way you play a whack-a-mole if you have a uh, portable uh, plug-and-play something like that. It's yeah. So you got saved games here, and get, I guess you can save up to four different games: um, green game, blue game. And it's interesting. It looks like it's a very kind of uh, involving game. Let's go ahead and try a new game and see what we can do here. <sighs> Select a mole host. Okay, let's go with the uh, blue. Overwrite? No, let's see. Let's see if there's. Nope. Alright. All these have got a save game. I'm going to override this one so we can start afresh and see what we got here. Alright. What do we got here? Uh, let's see. Mansion. Kind of gives you an idea here. Visit the farm. Alright, let's go in there. Let's see what we got here. Pop up moles, ticket. Run around moles. Okay. Let's do the run around. Let's see what we got here. Okay. There you go. Interesting. Oh yeah, don't don't hurt don't hurt the cows. As you can see, I'm only using... Well, actually, I can use four buttons. I didn't see the yellow there. It's kind of hard to uh, see that in the corner. You really got to pay attention here. Looks like you get more than one chance to get them, though. But it is what it is. Ah. All 
right, got a pumpkin. Let's see if that special will do anything. All right, there's a water. Not sure what the water bottle does. I guess it kind of gives you a little bit more options. Almost like you gotta divide your uh, attention up into four parts to really kind of maximize. Here we go. Alright, 17 seconds. There you go. That's the uh, barn level. <coughs> Interesting. We'll see what the pop-up moles does. I guess it. Yeah, this is just kind of a pop-up. This is a tad bit easier because you're not having to worry about them walking around and getting in the right target and everything. Go get those. Farm animals. Oh no. Now I don't know if this is just a uh, Free level because I don't see a time count down the time or anything. All right. Helps to try to keep like your index fingers on the top two buttons and your thumbs on like the bottom two, something like that. Kind of position your hands to kind of have access to all four buttons. Alright, there you go. Relatively simple. Alright, what's the ticket here? Alright, we got some tickets. Let's go back out. Alright, we visited the farm. Let's go around and see what we got here. Winter fun. Let's go in there. Alright, let's do some pop-up moles here. Alright. Surprised that water bottle wasn't frozen. Considering how uh, how cold it looks in this background, oh, it's hot coffee. All right, use some of that. All right, he's whistling at me. gloves there.
cool job there. All right, run around moles. Let's just kind of quickly do that. Whoa, all right, here we go. Now we're getting a little bit more of a... Uh, Nice to get two of them in a row right there. Ah, missed one. <laughs> that, that mole that's on the sleigh there, it's like, it, it cracks me up whenever you hit him. The sleigh just kind of takes off without him. I missed a few there. But that's alright. Not bad. Get more tickets. I wonder if you kind of can buy stuff with this stuff. Let's see what we got here. The tickets. Let's see what we got. March 17. Alright, backyard garden. Let's take a look at that one real quick. Alright, let's do the pop up moles. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing, just different backgrounds. In essence, the same thing. No, no, don't hit the puppy. Dang it. can really get in the zone, you can really knock a bunch of these moles out. Oh. I mean, what is a cat doing underground anyway? Or, or a dog, for that matter. I'm enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. Classic. Whack-a-mole. Yeah, there we go. Alright, buddy. Come over here. There we go. Let's 
just gotta figure out where the spots are. Like on, on my TV, it's harder to see the yellow at the bottom left where it's at on my TV. I mean, I can see the blue outline and the red circle and the green one, but. Ah, that was a trick one there. There's a puppy on with the uh, mole. Get a little bit quicker here. Another level down. I haven't even been using the specials. So let's go ahead and cash in those tickets. Oh no, actually, let's go back out of that. The red one. Alright, let's see what City Street is about. Let's pop up moles. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if I can think, I'll use this special here. Let's see what this does. Right, knocks him out. All right. Yeah, it's just a different way, I guess, of attacking him. Maybe you get more points with the special. I think that's it. All right, I'm gonna try this again. I get another special. Alright, let's see. Yeah, you get more points doing that. Okay. That's cool. See now, you have to use your special to get some of these moles. When they have the uh, the lid on their head, you can't get them. I got you. I got you. Interesting. A little bit more strategy to this game. Run around moles. Let's go ahead and knock that out. Yeah. 
okay, yeah, they can attack you. I got you. And they come out of the top. Oh, that's Top right corner there, the green. I think that's where they attack you. Alright, ten seconds. Alright, not too bad. Alright, let's go. Get these tickets. Okay. Oops, let's go back. That way, we got a couple more levels here, and we can knock that out. I guess that's what you gotta do. You got your goal is to get to that final adventure. Let's go to the beach. Let's see what we got in there. Pop up moles. Uh, okay. Relaxing at the beach, I see. The moles. If there's any sharks that'll pop up and you're not supposed to hit them or something, I don't know. Ah, okay. The water doesn't hurt him. get that many tickets this time around looks like. Let's try the run around moles. Alright. <laughs> All right. Looks like you can stun them with the water, but not completely uh, eliminate them. Yeah, he's fast little boogers. <laughs> All right, come here, buddy. seem to be racking up some tickets here. So 
gonna knock him out with a beach ball there. Oh yeah, get more points. Get him with a beach ball there. Alright. Not too bad. Alright. Another level down. Cash in the tickets. Let's go ahead. Alright, we did that level, the farm. We started with that one. We will finish with the mansion and then the final adventure. Let's go ahead and go into the mansion. See what that's going to do. Pop up moles. Alright. Yeah, tomatoes seems like they'll give you more points if you use the tomatoes as opposed to the water in this level. Yeah, you want to rack up as many points as you can. So I get this I get the point of the specials. Next up, Runaround Moles. Let's see what that's about. Uh, okay. I always like getting two or three at one time when they're all bunched together. Seconds. 
Got a few of them got away there, but that's all right. Really racked up the points on this round. Ah. All right. Cool beans. Let's grab those tickets. Let's go back out. All right. Final level in this game. Well, let's go backwards. The final adventure. Uh, let's go in that and see what we can do. You need one more ticket to enter. Wow, I was so close. All right, let's uh, let's really quickly go into the. Uh, let's go in here. And just kind of do a quick pop up mole. Wow, I was so close too. I'm curious to see what that final adventure is going to be about. Go. That should be the ticket I need. Although I don't want to go out of this game just in case it won't give it to me. But I could exit if I wanted to. But I think I have to cash in the ticket. to find out, cash in those tickets, see what we got going on here. All right, wait, actually, let's go out of that. All right, let's go back. There we go. Now, can we go into here? Final adventure, yes. Ooh, okay, let's try the mole water slides. Let's see what happens here. Oh wow, this is pretty... Alright. Okay, I see. Alright, this is going to be kind of tricky here, because the way the... Alright, here we go. kind of tricky just because the button layout is going to be... I'm going to have to kind of look down at this. Blue. Yep. Oh, I'm going to be... I'm not going to be doing too good on this, I can tell you right now. Alright, red. Just getting the colors memorized. Hmm. Right, red. Hmm. Have a delayed reaction too. There we go. Again, this is not a good run. Yep, that's it's a little bit tougher because the buttons in your mind the buttons are kind of in a certain order and uh, yeah, 
So let's go to Big Top Mole Acrobats. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. At least you can kind of visualize this a little better. Alright. There we go. Not too bad. But let's go back. Let's make sure that's it for this. Oh, no. Let's go back out of that. Let's put that. Yeah, quickly. All right. Let's see here. We're going to go make sure there's nothing else. We pretty much covered everything on this plug and play. So there you go. That is the Milton Bradley Whack-A-Mole game, TV game. And if you're going to play Whack-A-Mole at home, this is the way to do it. I mean, this controller is pretty sturdy. Um, the buttons are pretty good. Uh, very kind of stands up to a lot of button mashing and pressing, stuff like that. So it's pretty good. And it's very interesting that I ran across this. But, uh, yeah, check it out. If you can find it cheap enough at a thrift store or whatever, go for it. It's a fun little game of Whack-A-Mole. Better than trying with a Nintendo controller or something like that so go for it and I will see you next time for another video I've got a lot of gameplay a lot of plug and plays looking at them right now that just came in that I've ordered and we're gonna go through those gameplay them and kinda check them out document them and make sure uh, we check them out and have fun with them so take care and I'll see you again next time for another video gameplay video plug and play video video take care everybody